Uh, we have a problem. Now, uh, determine the volumetric analysis of products of combustion uh, for uh, hexadecadene C16H32. So, if we have a 100% theoretical air is given, and B, if this 150% theoretical air is given. Note, uh, take note that our theoretical air means that it, that is 100% now plus your excess air. So we have to again go back to step one. So we're going to write out our combustion formula. So writing that one. So we have your fuel. No. So that will be your fuel plus your air. Then we have your product of your combustion. Okay. Now for your fuel, so we have C16H32. Then we're going to add your air, which is your A times your O2 plus the 3.76 of your nitrogen, which is equaling to your B. So we have your CO2 plus C. So we have your H2O plus A times 3.76 of your nitrogen. Then we proceed to step two. So we're going to write out the molar equation or the balance equation by balancing using the principle of mass of conservation um, from the thermodynamics. So we have for your carbon, uh, so let's start with your carbon. Now for carbon, we have your 16, okay, so that will be equal to B. Then next, we have your hydrogen. So our hydrogen, so that will be 32. So you will notice here, we have here 32. Then it is equal to your 2C on the opposite side. So we have here multiply by 2. Okay. Then we shall have your oxygen. So for our oxygen on this side, so we have 2A. Okay, so this is 2A and it is equal to 2B. Then we have C. That will be plus C. Huh? So then, then, wala na rin iba. So, we have your B. So, we have the value here for your 16. And we, to get the value of your C, so that will be 32 divided by 2. So, we have the value of C, which is equal to 16. So, substituting the value para makuha natin ang value ng A. So, we have now 2 times the value of B, which is 16 plus the body of C, which is also 16. Then all over divided by, by 2. So we have the body of A, which is now equal to 24. Okay. Now rewriting the, our combustion formula for this one. So we have now your C16. So substitute that in mga values na ito. So we have C16H32. Then plus, uh, that will be 24, your O2, plus, uh, that will be the value of A, 24, multiplied by 3.76, so we have 90.24. This 90.24, that will be your nitrogen. So we have your product, so that will be 16, no? 16 CO2. For this one, the value of B, we have the value of B, which is 16, no? Then, I'm going to add the value of C, which is also 16. So, 16 plus your H2O, then plus the value of this one, A, times 3.76. So, that will be 90, no? 90.24, we have your nitrogen, okay? So we have now the stoichiometric uh, 
chemical balance of your uh, fuel plus air, then we have here your product. No? So on this side, so we have your product. So we have your fuel, and this is the part which is our air. No? Then we have the product of combustions. Okay? Now for the 100% theoretical, so we have here our moles, not dito, for the volumetric analysis. Then, so usually we're going to create a table here. So volumetric analysis, your Bx, so that will be the moles of that uh, element, then the total moles of the uh, content of that one. So now, for uh, we're so we're taking the volumetric analysis of the product of combustion. So we were merely uh, focused on this product combustion 16 CO2, 16 H2O, and 19.24 for your nitrogen. Now I'm going to create here our uh, chemical for that product of combustion. So we have your CO2, dito. then we have your H2O. Okay, then we have your N2, which is for your nitrogen. Now for our CO2, so you will notice that we have the corresponding moles there, which is 16. Okay. Then uh, your H2O is also, again, you have 16. Your nitrogen, it will be 90.24. No. Then I'm going to do what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sum up in total nito so we have the total of this one so 16 plus 16 then plus 90.24 so we have the total of your nt total moles so we have 122.24 no then for our volumetric analysis so that will be 16 no divided by 122 so that will be the value, the percentage of this one. So I'm going to write here 16. That will be divided by 122.4. So 16 divided by 122.4, that is an equivalent to, that is in by percentage. So this will be 13.07, okay, by percent of, uh, so that is 30.7. Then we have again 16 divided by 122.4. So it is again the same as the value no kanina. We have 13.07. Then we have 90.24 divided by 122.4. So that is an equivalent to 73, no? 73.82 percent. Okay. So this is in terms of percent. Okay. Now, uh, this is uh, by volume of CO2. And this is also by volume of H2O percentage. And this one is also by volume percentage of nitrogen. Now, if I'm going to add total this one, so it must be equal to 100%. Okay, so if you're going to sum up that one, so that will be equal to the 100% value. So it's just to correct, you know. So if not, it's not equal to 100%, there's something wrong with your calculation um these properties of for your volumetric analysis of product of combustion all right now let's go so we have in the product for volumetric analysis for product combustion for 100 percent theoretical no so let's go to 150 percent theoretical air is given so again i'm going to write now the stoichiometric or the uh, write out the combustion formula with 0.5%. Uh, so that we have an excess air, which is 0.5% uh, excess air. So theoretical, then we have 50% excess air. So I'm going to write out the equation for that one. So for we have C16, H32, okay, then plus, that will be multiplied to 1 plus, 0 0.5 then we're going to multiply this one to 24 of your oxygen plus uh, 90 no 90.24 of your nitrogen then our product dito so we have your product here so i'm gonna just we're gonna move here further so we have your product here which is again to 16 uh 16 co2 sorry about that 16 CO2 
plus uh, 16 H2O, then plus uh, that will be 24, no? 24 of O2 times 0 0.5. Okay. So that's 0 0.5. Then I'm going to add Tito that will be plus um, 1 plus 0 0.5 times 90, no? 0.24. So that will be your nitrogen N2. Okay. So you will notice here, dear, we have here your fuel and this is our air with uh, excess air. So that will be 1 plus 0.5. On the other side, from the product of combustion, so we have 16 CO2, then 16 H2O plus 24 times 0 0.5 for the excess. Then for our nitrogen here, so that will be 1 plus 0 0.5 times 90.24 for your nitrogen. So writing out the volumetric uh, analysis of the product of combustion with 150%, no? So we have here 100%, 150% theoretical, okay? Theoretical, we have, so for CO2, so how many moles is that one? So we have 16, no? Then for our H2O, so for H2O, again, we have again 16. Then for our nitrogen, no? So for our nitrogen, we have 135. So for our nitrogen, multiplying this one, so we have 135.36. Now for our oxygen, so we shall have again, uh, that will be, uh, 12. So since we have here times the 0 0.5 values, we have 0 0.5 times 24, that will be 12. So I'm going to sum up this one. So we have the total of your moles, total moles, which is equal to 179.36. So that will be the total. Now for the volumetric analysis, we have your percentage of your BX here, or in volumetric analysis, we have your mole. Then total, so that will be 16 divided by 179.36. So we have the product of 8.9%. No? 5% of volume of CO2. Then this one again, 16 divided by 179.36. So it is the same that we have 8.9% by H2O volume uh, by volume. Then for our nitrogen, that will be 135.36 divided by 179.36. So that will be 75.46%. So this is by percent of nitrogen. Then we have 12 divided by 179.36. So we have the equal to 6.69 percent of oxygen so if we're going to sum of this one so it must be equal to 100 percent okay so for condition like equal there's something wrong with your equation so we have now here your solutions for that one so right so let's have a quick overview or let's have a trick a uh, uh, quick recap ng ginawa natin dito so Usually now we have again uh, for 100%, so that will be only the basic stoichiometric, no? Then we shall do mass balance. Then those properties of this one, so you will be remembering from our equation for volumetric analysis. So, so we have here the ratio of your mole divided by the total moles of the total product of combustions, no? So we have taken yung mga values ng moles of CO2, H2O, and, and nitrogen. So sum up the moles of that one, we have 122.24. Then by means of percentage, so we, uh, uh, that will be, so madali lang naman siya, that will be 16 divided by the total moles. So we have the percentage by volume, okay? Then lahat naman siya kinuha. So 
it must be equal to 100%, right? So the same also, yung, uh, same process also ang ginawa natin pag uh, with the excess air. So pinagkaiba lang yung stoichiometric analysis natin o yung combustion formula. So we add the 1.5 for the excess air. Then also, ang nadagdag dito sa other side, so the product combustion, so you will notice here we have a product of O2. Okay, that will be 0. Point, um, ang O2 that will be multiplied by 0. 0.5, uh, yung what is the E, so the excess air. So usually here 100%, so that will be uh, 100%. Now, yung E, which is the excess air, so it will be yung 0. 0.5. Again, the same process also na dagdag ng um, ginawa natin dito which is dito CO2, H2O, N2, and O2. Okay? So again, so the equation here, the same also yung ginawa natin dito sa kanina. Okay? That's it.